Science that's cool, paper's so unique. Welcome back to Cool Ass Papers that I read this week. Nanoparticles for treating diseases, especially cancer, has been very hit or miss. And so researchers always ask themselves, why? What's stopping nanoparticles from being good for all cancers? And now we're gonna switch gears a little bit to something called the enhanced permeability and retention effect, AKA the EPR effect, is a controversial concept. You know that when Wikipedia says it's controversial, things are pretty tough. By which molecules of certain sizes tend to accumulate in tumor tissue much more than they do in normal tissues. In order for tumor cells to grow quickly, they must stimulate the production of blood vessels. Because these blood vessels need to be made so quickly, they often have defects with wide spaces that can fit nanoparticle drugs into them. A good friend of mine once compared this to trying to build a house. Imagine in one scenario, you have to build an entire house in just a week. Because you have such little time to do that, you're more likely to make mistakes. Those mistakes might lead to some holes somewhere in your house for rain and mice and other bad things to get in. But imagine you had unlimited time. You'd probably make a much better house because you would have time to correct those mistakes and build a house that is very sturdy. In this example, the cancer tissue is the rush stinky house, but your healthy tissues are the nice sturdy house. Warren Chan's lab says that doesn't make any sense because after analyzing papers that were published over the last 10 years, they found that less than 1% of those nanoparticles we're actually getting into cancer. So when they say, hell nah, this 30-year-old theory's gotta be wrong, we should listen. 